Alrighty. Now it's time for uh, Oromo's Twins and then Red Oromo's Twins with only swords. Uh, coincidentally, it's the same loadout as Jelly King. Because Hammer, the only Shadow Sword that's available, and then there probably are other weapons that would work, but Troikas are good here, so... Because I'm not too confident in a Arc Razor or Striker. And I'm not really sure what other options there would be, other than, I guess, a brand, like another Brandish. But Hammer already handles everything it's weak to Elemental. And then I have Nightblade already, which is a Brandish. And then once again, I'm keeping the Sprite for speed, because... It just takes longer without it. Yeah, I don't, I don't really have a plan for the boss, since uh, Hammer Dash doesn't reach them when they're knocked down. And Brandishes also don't really work, so I'm probably just going to keep doing regular swings with the Hammer. I'm actually kind of excited to try the try Red Romo's Twins with swords only, because now I have a Glacius, which should be really good there, because the other two elemental brandishes aren't ideal to bring, because oilers and quicksilvers. That, that and also freeze in general is just a good sass effect to bring there.
I was considering bringing a striker uh, for the j just specifically for the boss because brandishes don't work. But I, I highly doubt that a striker can out DPS uh, just doing this with a hammer. If, if it can, then yeah, striker would be the way to go. But I doubt that considering how much damage hammer does. I forgot a pot. I'm not gonna bother breaking the stone. It, ba it barely saves any time. And, and, and the shuttle air run, I definitely will be breaking the stone, but.
Okay, I misclicked twice there. But as long as I keep going back and forth, I should be able to keep hitting these two down. Oh, sorry, I forgot to turn on the music, that's fine. Well, I guess I was too quick on the left side, because the right side didn't get the missiles off. Now we wait. Well, I wait. For you, it's just gonna... it's just gonna cut. That's unfortunate. I could have had the right side down if I was faster. Okay, that was not worth it. I wanted to see how much ha damage Hammer Charge did. The barrier doesn't even reach him. That's unfortunate. Yeah, so it's basically, it's basically just individual hammer attacks until they go down. That wasn't too bad, I just needed to just swing the hammer. I, I also considered Spur just because the charge attack is a projectile that should pierce them. But once again, normal damage, and I highly doubt it out damages. I mean, maybe it does, maybe I'm wrong, but I, I doubt that it out damages a hammer. Just because elemental damage and hammer is just really good. It could be possible, but I didn't bother testing, so. Anyways, uh, n n now it's time for Red Rumors Twins with only swords. Alrighty. It's all downhill from here. Now we're doing uh, RRT with only swords. Here's a loadout. Brandishes, hammer, and masquerade. I'm using Glacius because the other two brandishes aren't ideal here. Especially voltage. Don't do not bring a voltage here. The the fire from combustor isn't a huge deal because usually whenever there's oilers there's always a source of fire nearby to light them up anyways, but Either way, Freeze is just all around better here. Just stopping movement entirely. Because RRT is full of a bunch of small arenas. Yeah, I got really unlucky. I couldn't find any useful drops. The, 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 the game kept handing me shock and fire barriers, and I can't use either of those two here. 
Yeah, that was a terrible time to go up. Shot a cloak, it is very nice. Hammer is also very nice. I'm almost tempted to keep the sleep vials, since those could be really good for Grillin Bunders. Either way, I have Masquerade for the poison, so I shouldn't need poison vial too much. I didn't open that. So th th those parts are going to despawn. Here we have the first concerning arena of the run. Hopefully Glacius will help out here, but th th this arena is just a brutal. It's just awful. I actually don't remember exactly what spawns here. I'm just going to charge up Glacius. And have a lag spike immediately on the heck. That's right, yes. Yeah, I just realized since I have swords, I can't hit that switch on the side. That's gonna be rough. <laughs> I have to pay, pay very, very close attention to the missile launchers. I don't know what hit me. What hit me out of the stealth? There wasn't a missile there, and I was far away enough from the mechanites for the shock to not hit me. start. I'm genuinely curious what hit me there. Because I was nowhere near the Mechanite to get shocked by him, and there wasn't a missile. Okay, I don't have a way to get to that red rover. That that missile just did not hit me. I was in between them. Okay, right. Already, we're, we're minutes into the run and already starting off with some form of lag or just latency. Causing me to get hit by things that I'm not uh, next to. I, I got hit by some random something in the arena that caused me to go out of Masquerade Stealth, and I got hit by a missile that I was not standing next to.
I still, to this day, do not understand how people had trouble with this arena. Like, I, I, remember, I remember way, way back, like way back when it was still Tier 3, people complained about this arena in particular. Saying it, like, saying like, like this room was one of the hardest rooms in the run. It's with the camera angle. And I, I do not understand how... I, I don't understand how people had an issue when it was Tier 3. And I don't understand how anyone has an issue even in Tier 4. You, you just walk down. Break these missiles in advance. I like how it undid my dash. Somehow, somehow Swiss Strike tanked that, but like I dashed before the missile exploded. So I, I shouldn't have needed to tank a hit with the Swiss Strike anyways. Actually, I need these two to stay right here. I think, I think both Mecha Knights are stuck outside. Or on the other side of the trap. The wall, I mean, you know what I mean. A lag spike. Quicksilver's almost killed the Mecha Knights for me. It's dead already. They're dead. It's annoying how some of the demos' bombs go under the floor. It's hard to tell exactly where they are. Okay, you see, and, and this is what happened. It's the same thing with Ice Queen, where it's like, I, I I had one hiccup on, like, one half of the first floor. That wasn't even really my fault. Because it was, like, either directly or indirectly due to lag. And then, and then the next side, I do Deathless. This is great. Look, look, look how much health is left. I don't think the curse is going to be too useful, so I'll, I'll use the vial here to hit the switch. Oh, 
I didn't know the missiles immediately fired. I should probably target the vendor, but... That worked out, actually. Okay. Deadly Shadow Cloak is so nice. I don't know how my Swiss Strike wasn't taking damage there. I don't have any fire... Resistance on it. That was a bad time to dodge or dash. Okay. I had a feeling he spawned up here too. The same exact thing that happened to Ice Queen. The, 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 the entire floor wasn't that bad. It's just that it's just that on one side, in like one of the first arenas, something went wrong that wasn't directly my fault. How did that? Okay. Which causes which causes me to, to end up using a spark, and then like the rest of the floor is like perfectly fine. This is a great. Except unlike unlike Ice Queen, uh, the second floor of this run is actually kind of difficult, so I still need to focus. Thing, thing, things can still go very bad. But it shouldn't be that bad just because brandishes are overpowered. I know I'm down here, I should not be down here. I killed it with a hammer, I killed the Grumman with a hammer.
Uh, I need to hit the switch, actually. Okay, this room is one of the places where it could, things could go south extremely quickly. Because as I've mentioned before, RNG quick slurries are just completely random. See how nice Glacius is? Like if, if I had Voltage or Combustor, I probably would have died already, because if I had Voltage, I would have just, you know, the Quicksilver's would have killed me already. I don't know what happened to my third swing. I swung three times and it didn't the third one just didn't happen. Yeah, I don't know why the oiler is stuck. Finally a pill. I, was, I wasn't really paying attention, but I, I feel like this is the first pill job I've gotten this run. I'll be honest, I have never not brought Masquerade here, so I don't know I, I don't know what you're supposed to do in that part.
And welcome to the arena that's just packed full of Gremlin demos. Because I, because I, I guess they ran out of ideas, so they, so, so they just put a bunch of Gremlin demos and vendors into an arena. Time to kill the same enemy again. Fire. Okay, I just wonder what hit me. Fantastic arena design, I must, I must say. I, I'm shield bumping, it's just not working. Like, I'm, I'm putting up my shield right next to something, it's just not working. explain that one to me. It was dead. It, it, the, the, the gun probably already died, but it still shocked me. Why is that? What? 
Okay, I'm surprised that wasn't dealing a lot of damage. We're in black ass, so I should be taking damage. I should be taking a lot of damage from the fire. to believe that hit me. Okay, what's the deal with like the fire attacks sometimes letting that fire when I'm not even in it and then sometimes I walk through on it and doesn't light me on fire? Five minutes after I break all of these. Alright, I also decided to uh, try seeing if the mineral trick works here. Uh, I don't know exactly where the gun where the gun puppy spawns. I think it's on this tile. So yeah, I just moved minerals up to that spot. Hopefully it works. I was a tile off, but it still blocks him, so it's fine. Okay, uh, what the heck? Okay, I don't know what happened to my second swing there. I swung a second time and hit the switch. I just focus one side. I'm gonna lag actually, never mind. Oh! Okay, that's an example of why Galatia sucks in just about in every other mission in the game. That's a lot of radiance. I'm starting to notice a pattern here. 
So far, so far, so I, I've done three out of four with only with only swords. Uh, so far, like almost all of my deaths had been have been either directly or indirectly caused by lag. Just great. Normally I would shield bash, but sometimes explosive blocks can spawn. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna clear everything first. Storm seeds gonna suck. What hit me there? I, I I was not in front of the missile. I don't know how it exploded. I'm pretty sure the same thing happened in the regular RT run. I just didn't say anything about it. Where I where I, I was next to I was like below the missiles and it still exploded somehow. Big black spike. It always does that, I shouldn't be surprised, but still. Okay, I don't know. I, I think a missile hit a scuttlebot and then the explosion lit me on fire.
I didn't think that would hit. That wasn't too bad. I think it's funny that I took more damage from Scuttlebots running into missiles and the explosion hitting me rather than anything else hitting me. I'm about to try out the Venom Vendor here. It's not, it's not gonna be good, but I wanna at least try it out. It's got way too much knockback. Hates me. You followed me all the way up from like halfway down the thing.
meant to swap to swap to divine adventure there. That works. I'm sorry. I meant to say I meant to swap to Akron instead of divine adventure. Okay, that uh, didn't hit me. That was past me. I, I, I moved to the right from where that was traveling. But somehow that's still connected. Most likely, most likely latency since the, the I found out this this game's tick rate is actually terrible, which isn't very surprising. But it's actually it it the the, the tick rate is surprisingly low. So it, it 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 takes much longer before your inputs get sent to the server than you know most games. At, at least that's what at least that's what I've heard, which would make sense. But yeah. You're able to actually see it, kind of, if you, if you were to have two uh, instances of the game open, like, side by side, and, like, if you move on one, it takes, like, a split second before it appears on the other end. Sixty radiance. Nice. Alright.